Man, it's hard not to move and groove when the DJ's going. We've got Tasty Takeout, Seas Treats, Dr. C. Johnson and Tasha Johnson hanging out with us. Thanks for being here, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. All right, tell me about your business and how this all got started. Well, my grandfather, um, he was an inspiration to me um, because he was an executive chef. And he taught me a lot of tricks of the trade. And he told me um, the gift that I had to never lose it. So um, many years later, we started Seize Treats. Very cool. What's, what's that journey been like for you all, making these treats for people to enjoy? It's been very successful. Yeah. Um, we have an opportunity to please people. And it's not hard to do. But we do cater to them. Yeah. It's not like you go in the grocery store and you have to purchase what they have. We're not that way. You tell us what it is that you want and then we make it happen. What's that like when you're able to do that? Because I know people, especially whatever it is, a party or, or whatever, they want something that's going to be memorable and they can come to you and ask for it and you guys provide that. How does that make you feel to know that you have that impact? That's the, the creativity. Uh, you, you know, you do have to be flexible too, yeah. and uh, and then you you have to be really good at pulling information out of people. Yeah. <laughs> it's real, that's the hard part, and uh, but that's how we come up with these uh, creative ideas. All right, walk us through what we have here on the plate because there's a lot to look at. Okay, we have the matching cupcakes and cookies. Okay, uh, the. Cupcakes and cookies are one of the most favorite desserts. Sure. And it, uh, you can use them in any uh, event, any event, birthdays, grandparents' day. And then we have the matching uh, strawberry cookie and the strawberry cupcake. We have the red velvet uh, cookie and they have uh, the white uh, chocolate morsels. Mm. And then we have the uh, red velvet cupcakes and then we have blue velvet. Okay. I know that's one of the news, but it's it's really good. The blue velvet cupcakes with a matching uh, cookie. We're in Indianapolis. The Indianapolis Colts obviously look very similar to this blue. <laughs> How many people for Sundays go, we want some of those blue velvet cookies for our party? Have you guys run into that yet? No, this is actually our newest creation. Oh, so listen, yes. look at this blue. <laughs> if that's not Colt's blue, I don't know what is. That's perfect. I'm going to mm -hmm. take a bite out of this Absolutely. one Absolutely. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. That's super soft. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is per <laughs> nothing better than a cookie on a Friday. That is perfect. Thank what, you. What do you guys hope for this business as it, as it moves forward? What do you want it to evolve into, and, and what are your hopes and dreams for it? Well, sometimes we have to, to pump the brakes because it really does, uh, gr it's grown. And, uh, and so we're very well known by many. We have our out of state customers. Uh, yeah. And so, uh, again, we do have to pump the brakes. Sure. So, <laughs> and and uh, that's hard to do because uh, people really want what they want, what they want. Yeah. And we want them to have what they want. But we also work with people that, um, you know, are. are has a smaller budget, we'll do that too, but yeah. not a lot of places will do that. Right. But Seas Treats, we're known for that. That's awesome. Well, you ladies are the best. Thank you so much for bringing this stuff in. QR code on the screen will get you all the info you need to get some of these goodies in your hands. We got more Lifestyle, or All Indiana, more All Indiana next.